In this video, we visit the Matanuska Glacier Valley area and check out the rivers, mountains, and wildlife along the way. I'm Mark Donovan. Fly along with me and check out our wonderful planet from above. After having another tremendously delicious breakfast at the Pioneer Ridge Bed and Breakfast in Wasilla, Alaska, which I can't say enough positive things about, we headed northeast, first passing through Palmer, Alaska, and then jumping on the Alaska Route 1, or also known as the Glen Highway. This is our room. Uh, this is at the Pioneer Bed and Breakfast. And this each room has a theme. This theme is fishing, as you can probably see by these walls real rustic looking um, facility. It's actually part of a converted um, cow barn uh, that was redone many years ago. And each room is about, I would guess, around 10 rooms. Each one has a different thing, a theme, like the Iditarod room, the fishing room, the uh, Denali room, etc. cetera. Um, really well um, done in terms of decoration, very clean, and the food they serve for breakfast is just unbelievable. Traveling along the Glen Highway, which snakes east-northeast up through the Matanuska River Valley, we took in the breathtaking coastal and interior mounds on both sides of the highway. And paralleling us most of the time was the Matanuska River. The river varied in width from narrow and fast-flowing rapids to wide and braided, with multiple streams heading southwest to the Knick Arm and eventually flowing out to the Cook Inlet and into the Gulf of Alaska. Coming from the northeastern United States, we couldn't help but to compare these rugged and steep Alaska mountains that continuously rose before our eyes around every corner with the relatively low and gentle Appalachian mountains. Even the tallest mountain in the northeastern United States, Mount Washington in New Hampshire, where we live close to, couldn't hold the candle to the scale and ruggedness of the mountains we witnessed in this part of the Alaskan mountain range. After about an hour's leisurely drive, we finally saw the toe of the Matanuska Glacier from the edge of the Glen Highway. The glacier sat deep in a valley, looking bright and white in contrast with the surrounding fertile green and rocky mountains that surrounded it.